blade and quill. Hello and welcome back to the channel. In the last tutorial, I showed you the steps to transform a photograph into a pencil sketch. This week, I am going to show you a treasure that has been sitting right in front of your eyes. You may already know about it or you may have seen it and never tried to use it. I am talking about the plugin uh, Gemic. In English, I believe you pronounce it uh, Gimmick. It is a product of a French team and the name stands for Grex Magic for Image Computing. It was created at the Grec Lab by the Group de Recherche en Informatique, Image, Automatique et Instrumentation de Caen. So what is it? It is an open source filter framework, or more simply said, it is a free image editing and modification plugin. You will find it here in Krita, but also in Photoshop, GIMP, and many other apps. Before the start, there are a few things you need to know. The performance of this plugin will completely depend on the strength of your computer and uh, maybe of your graphic cards. The plugin for Krita is only available on Windows and Linux. If you are using Windows, the plugin will be included in the installer and Krita will find it automatically. However, if you are using Linux, you will need to go to Krita's manual and follow the instructions on how to download and install the plugin. With that being said and out of the way, let's start with a short tour of this platform. Go to Filter. Click on Start Gimmick. A new window appears. To change the settings of the panel, Click on the Settings button. You can move the preview panel to the right. You can change the theme color and the language. Click OK when you are done. If you do not see a preview of your photo, you will need to check this box. You can zoom in or out of your preview using the plus or minus buttons. You can also click on any of the different values available in the drop-down menu. Click here to reset the zoom. Use the search bar to find the filter you want to use. I am going to type water. Now any filter including the word water in it will appear. As you can see here, we've got four results. As soon as you click on a filter, sliders will appear on the right panel, allowing you to tweak them. When you are done with setting up everything and before to click on OK to apply the effects on your picture, decide on the input layers. Do you want the effects to take place only on the active layer? On all the layers? on the active layer and the layer above, or finally on the active layer and the layer below. You can see the panel full screen. Click again on the button to reset the size. Do not click on apply. This button should only be used when you want to save all the settings that you change as a preset. If you happened to click on the button by accident, you can always click here to reset the parameters to their default value. I am going to click on cancel since I don't want these effects to take place. For this tutorial today, let's do something simple and transform this photograph into an old-fashioned postcard. This is a picture that I downloaded from Pixabay. Before we start using Gimmick, we need to get a few things ready. Hit Ctrl J several times to make copies of your picture. Now lock the original and turn it off. 
this will become uh, your archive. Rename the layers above or number them. Click on copy number one to make it active and uh, turn off all the other copies underneath. Go to filter, click on adjust and uh, select the threshold. In this new window, you will notice a threshold level set at 128. If you move the slider toward the right, the number will increase as well as the black pigments. Move the slider the opposite way and the number of black pigments will decrease to reveal more white pigments. So I noticed with experience that uh, 50 is a good number, so let's type 50 in the box and uh, hit enter. Now we need to get rid of the white background. I just want to keep the black lines. Go back to the filter tab, click on the colors, select color to alpha. Do not change anything here, just click OK. Now that the white background is gone, hit Ctrl J to make a copy of the layer. Lock the Preserve Alpha button. I want you to paint over the lines using a new color, so get your brush. Any basic brush will do. Make sure that the pen pressure button is turned off. Increase the size of your brush. In the color wheel, choose a red color. Now cover the lines very quickly. Hit Ctrl U to tweak the hue, saturation and the lightness of the color if you are not satisfied with what you see. Click OK when done. Turn off the two layers we just worked on. We'll get back to them very soon. Now click on the copy number 2 to make it active and turn it back on. Go to Filter and uh, start gimmick. Choose the tab artistic and look for the filter called sketch. Click OK when done. I am going to rename this layer sketch and I may as well rename the two layers above one will be named black and the other one will be named red. Click on the black layer and decrease its opacity. I would advise you to turn the layers on and off as many times as you need to see how the effects you made worked. Now you're going to do the same thing with a red layer. Just keep playing with the layer's opacity until you are satisfied. Holding the shift key on your keyboard, select all three layers and create a group. You can rename the group anything you want. When you are done, close the group. So as you can see, I created too many copies earlier, so I am going to remove them. Back to the group, we are going to copy it. Go back to the original one, lock it and turn it off. This will be your archive. Go back to the copied group and merge it into one layer. Rename it anything you want. Go back to the filter and restart gimmick. Close the artistic tab and open the tab called Degradations. Now look for the filter called Old Movie Stripes. Click OK. Because today is our first time working with a plugin, we won't touch the sliders. We'll just keep selecting filters and use their default settings. Let's get back to the plugin.
close the degradation tab and open the tab called deformations. Look for the filter called Drop Water. Click OK. As you can see, this filter adds four new layers on the top of your image. Holding the Shift key, select all of them and create a group. I am going to rename this group Water. Close the group and now decrease its opacity. By creating a group, we are able to decrease the opacity of all the layers all at once. Change the blending mode of the group from normal to overlay. Alright, I just realized that I don't like the water drops on his face. I should have just merged the layers rather than create a group. But no worries, I still can do it now. The only things I have left to do is uh, grab a brush and my eraser and uh, clean up his face. Click on the portraits layer to make it active and create a copy. Get back into the plugin, close the Deformations tab and open the one called Colors. Look for the filter called Sepia and click OK. Change the blending mode to Overlay and decrease the opacity of the layer. If you are not really impressed by the effect of a sepia filter, you can always hit a Ctrl U and modify the U, saturation and lightness to your satisfaction. First, uh, make a copy of the uh, sepia layer. We will apply the filter on that layer. Get back into uh, the plugin. Close the colors tab and open the one called frames. Look for the filter called old photograph and uh, click OK. Decrease the opacity of the framed layer. Change the blending mode to multiply and decrease the opacity even further if you think it needs it. Hit Ctrl T to transform the frame and increase its size. Now try to move the picture around to create a ghostly effect. Finally, if you need it, uh, tweak uh, the U, uh, saturation and lightness of your framed uh, picture. And we are done! We have uh, successfully turned uh, this regular photograph into an old-fashioned postcard. Next week, we'll use a gimmick to help us turn a picture into a cartoon. So until then, have a great week. I will see you next Monday. <laughs> Bye.